What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite heavy guns in all Fallout 76. We have the Gatling gun. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary Gatling gun that we're using for the video, and we will be testing it with a full health and a bloody build. But the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the bolts explode for area damage, and it also has a faster movement speed while aiming. Over the mods, we're using the prime receiver, long barrel, comfort grip, extra large magazine, front sight ring, no muzzle, and the default appearance. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful Gatling gun, we've made our way to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Alfred. And we're gonna start by blasting him in the legs. There we go, fantastic, 195s all day. Oh my god, he died instantly! What in the heck, I was about to lock onto his face, but I guess not. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth Leonard, but this time we are our bloody build. And we're going to start this one off with a couple of fat shots to the face if we can hit him. All right, there we go. A 429. Can we do it again? Maybe not. Oh, God, he's coming this way. Leonard, I need you to relax. I need you to relax. Let me just blast your feet real quick. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And a face shot to end it. Our next Wasteland buffoons on the list to fill the wrath of the Gatling gun is all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're going to start with this guy right here. There we go, fantastic, fantastic, absolutely amazing. What about these VAT shots? 528 with a heavy gun. That's pretty insane. There we go, 506. Hello, sir, did you just tell me to die? Well, how about you die? There we go, absolutely amazing. Hello, guys, how y'all doing? How you whoa, whoa, you stupid hound, get out of here. Oh, oh, we got another hound. Get out of here, you stupid hounds. There we go, absolutely amazing. Hello, sir. Would you like to feel the power of the Gatling gun? Couple shots to the face, maybe? Okay. Oh, Wasteland brother ends. How are y'all doing today? You feeling pretty great? You're looking pretty great, and now you're dead. Oh my god, a 1,157 with the Gatling gun. That's a high amount of damage. What about these guys? We got one outside of Vats. There we go. And we got one inside of Vats. Making our way back through the West Tech Research Center, but this time we are our bloody build. And we're going to start this off with killing this guy again. There we go. 242, 275, 275. All right. What about you, you stupid suicider back there? 269, 296. I hope I'm not dyslexic because that could have been another 296. Oh, well. There we go. Let me just take down this hound real quick. Absolutely amazing. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got these guys just waiting for me. How about these VAT shots? If I can hit them, 642. Come on. Let's do it again. Maybe not. All right, there we go. We'll just go ahead and shred through these guys. There we go. Fantastic. And the one thing I love about Power Armor is that you're super duper tanky almost in any situation. There we go. Get out of here, you stupid wasteland fool. Oh, super mutant brother ends. Would you like to feel the power of this Gatling gun? We're going to get this guy in vats if we can just hit him. Here we go. All right, we're missing. We're missing. There we go. 616, 685. And is there any more super mutants that want to feel the wrath of the Gatling gun? Apparently not, but we do have this communist robot that we can destroy. Fantastic. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're going to start by blasting her legs. There we go. Amazing, amazing. Hopefully we can cripple her or something like that. But we got 190s all day. Used to, you could just do this and you'd shoot way faster, but sadly... They fixed it, but that's okay. We're still destroying her. There we go. Couple face shots. Absolutely amazing. What about in vats, woman? There we go. A couple 90s, 190s. Um, army of stupid crabs. Y'all need to get off of me. Let me just get rid of these guys real quick. Come on, get out of here. All right, we're focusing on the queen, not you guys. Oh, God, she's coming right at me. I just went right through her. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what's going on. Okay, she's rushing me again. There we go. She cannot withstand the power of our Gatling gun. After searching far and wide, we found ourselves another disgusting Myler Queen, but this one goes by the name Nancy. And we're gonna start by blasting her legs off. There we go, there we go, absolutely amazing. Now we do gotta be a little bit more careful with the bloody build because that poison can harm us pretty dang fast, but we don't wanna die. So we're just gonna keep on shooting her and moving and left and right, left and right. Oh god, she's coming close, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh! My face! Huh, huh, huh. Gotta get up here, get to safety real quick. What are you gonna do way down there, you stupid Myler Queen? Not much, it looks like. Okay, now we're gonna continue to blast you in the face. 
There we go. Absolutely amazing. And these guys cannot withstand the power of the Gatling Gun. Over in the builds, these are the base sets that make up our in-game full health heavy gunner build that we use for the video. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game full health heavy gunner build. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this so we can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We of course have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3 and this so can have concentrate fired one star. Vets now target slims. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have glow sight at two stars. Deal plus 40% of damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 12 and this will can have life giver at three stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have fireproof at three stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at two stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have kin fiend at three stars. Any kims you take lasts 100% longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. Over in charisma, we have six and this will can have field surgeon at one star stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly we have stranger numbers at one star positive mutation effects are plus 25 percent stronger if your teammates are also mutated we have tenderizer at three stars make your target receive 10 percent more damage for 10 seconds after you attack over in intelligence we have 14 and this will can have power use at three stars fusion core duration is now doubled we have stabilize at three stars in power armor heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45 percent armor we have demolition expert at five stars your explosives do plus 60 percent to damage we have first aid at three stars stim packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in agility, we have 11, and this will can have action boy at 3 stars. Action points to generate 45% faster. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this will can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have better criticals at 1 star. Bats criticals now do plus 50% of damage. We have 1 gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 80% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have class freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. Over in the bloody build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game bloodied heavy gunner build. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in game bloodied heavy gunner build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this will can have challenge pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3, and this will can have concentrate fire at 1 star. Bats now target limbs. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have glow sight at 2 stars. Deal plus 40% of damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 12, and this will can have life giver at 3 stars. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have kin feed at 2 stars. Any kims you take last 60% longer. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in charisma, we have 6 and this will can have filth surgeon at 1 star. Stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have strange numbers at 1 star. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 14 and this will can have Power Use at 3 stars. Fusion Core Duration is now doubled. We have Stabilize at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. We have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. Wobble 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 50% to AP region. Over in Agility, we have 11 and this will can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points are generate 45% faster. We have adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15, and this looking at bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in glory red paste. We have better criticals at 1 star. Bats criticals now do plus 50% to damage. We have 1 gun army at 3 stars. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have ricochet at 3 stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads, and Radway right will never cure your mutations. Over in Legendary Perk Cards, these are the Legendary Perk Cards that help make up our in-game Heavy Gunner builds. Starting off with Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength maxed out. Luck maxed out. Electric Absorption 
at one star and power sprinter at one star. These are the legendary pair cards. Now let's get to my armor buffs and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters power armor. And the reason we go with Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And if you eat a perfect bubble gum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have a general reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, scud skin, and speed demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using mute fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility, simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength, potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, carrot soup to get a plus four to perception, and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our kim buffs, we're using overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and psycho tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this, and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best sniper rifles in all of Fallout 76, the Gauss Rifle. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it to the screen right now. You see that? That is my Gauss Rifle video.